guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. If you have a Windows mobile device, but you really like the way that the, uh, the iPhone icons allow you to scroll from pane to pane and then you can tap and hold to move them around on the screen, then there's an interface out there by Vito Technology that you may like a lot. It's called Winterface and I'm going to show it to you now. Okay, right now I'm running Winterface on uh, an HTC Touch Pro, but this should work on any QVGA or VGA Windows Mobile device. Haven't tested it yet with a device like the Touch HD, though it should work. So we turn it on and we get a slide to unlock screen. So we just slide our finger across. And here we get a screen that just like the iPhone has a row of icons and we can flick to the right and see on the bottom where we are along with the icons. Now the skin that you see here is actually a skin that I downloaded from XDA developers and I'll post a link on how to get that for free. Uh, if I go up to menu and options, we can change the skin to something else and let me show you what light looks like. This is what light looks like. Some much larger icons don't like it as much. So I'm gonna switch it back to the other one that we had on the screen. Unfortunately, it's really just a uh, an application launcher. It's really nothing more than that. Uh, it doesn't go deeper than that, except for the contacts, as far as I could find so far. Um, if I click on the name of somebody I've added as a contact, you get their contact information here in in within the same interface, which is kind of nice. And you can you know have uh, people's pictures on a screen. If you want to have the first panel all filled up with people that you call a lot with their pictures, you can do that too. Now to move around icons, you tap and hold, and just like on the iPhone. <laughs> the the icons will jiggle and you can tap and hold another icon to drag it around on the screen or if you get it just right you can slide it to the panel on the right although it's not working for me right now let me try that this way yeah so it goes to the first panel and you can drop it and you tap on the d-pad to stop them from jiggling now something else that this does is that it lets you do uh, access the winter face interface quite easily if you're within a program. So you do a gesture. The gesture is a upside down V, like so. Let me try it. See, it goes right into Winterface. So that's a really good uh, addition, I think, so that you can get back into the program launcher if you're in a program. In addition, the Winterface uh, program has a second gesture that allows you to close programs with a ups, uh, regular, reg regular V. So just like that, and the application will close. So just a little bit of enhancement, I think, to help um, with some basic Windows mobile functions. So overall, I think Winterface is a good program launcher. And by the way, it works in landscape, which is good. Um, that said, it costs $20, which I think is kind of high for something that simply launches programs. I think a good price for this would be $10, and then it would be worth it. Um, but uh, at $20, I think it's a little too expensive to, to, be, to be worth the price. So that is Winterface version 1.3. That's it for now.